Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now let's just go straight to it without hesitation so Shako Stevenson one of the brightest stars in a in a sport of boxing has officially retired still very young at 26 years old bro he said right here quote i'm officially retiring from the sport of boxing i'll be in the gym forever perfecting my craft and helping the next generation become great and chase their dreams but i'm f with this week boxing game i think chakon stevenson is with um bob Harum, right one of the most experienced uh yeah. boxing promoters in the game um it's just kind of weird but I, I think he will come back but you can tell it's coming from a place of uh disappointment you know betrayal hurt or something like um is it not the wbo champion lightweight champion i think he is um because because he, he heard that um the WBO ordered Emmanuel Navarrete versus Denis uh, Berinci for a vacant WBO uh, lightweight award title. So it's just a little bit weird how boxing works. What is going on right here, bro? Why is WBO making such decision without basically like um? Okay, like, hey, bro. What is the WBC? Uh, the WBC lightweight champion, yeah. Who, Devin Hay? No, no, Chaco Stevenson. Well, what's going on here, yeah, right here, bro? Listen. <clears throat> The issue with Shakur Stevenson, right? It stems from his 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 last performance, you know. And him just not basically being smart when it comes to uh fighting. Let the record show that Devin Haney offered Shakur Stevenson uh, fight, but Stevenson turned it down because he believes he's worth more. I'm not mad at Devin Haney for giving that that amount of money because he took the low ball offer that he was offered when they asked him to fight Lomachenko, and he took it. He said he believed that his his talent would speak, and then Lomachenko, Lomachenko controls the the um, the playing field as of right now. But when he gets it, basically, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the one calling the shots. So he took the fight. Now with Shakur Stevenson, he believe he believes that you know he's worth more. He doesn't wanna really take the low ball off or doesn't want to let his talent speak for himself, which I think Tucker Stevenson has great talent. I, I still stand by that. Even with the even with his uh with the outcome of his last fight, how it looked, he won that fight, but it still didn't look good against uh when he fought um Ed, Edwin De Los Santos, right? He went twelve he went the twelve round decision with him. So I believe, um, you know, people are a little skeptical of saying, oh, he's boring. They've been saying he's boring. So people will say, no, he, he's not worth it. But what Shakur should have done is taken a fight with Devin Haney. We should have put him in the, automatically in the, in the position to win to win the, the WBC and all those four major titles. Unfortunately, I, I don't think he believed in himself. And he said, no, I don't know why. He, he turned down the fight. 
and now he's, he hasn't been like really people have been saying you know we want to see him fight other fighters and to this day he hasn't really fought anybody worth 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 mentioning you know so people are just like uh, tired of his uh, antics online and they're calling his bullshit eventually he got sick of it all that <laughs> call it everybody else's bullshit you know, say the promoters, the people don't box in too many politics, and he's real tired of it, and he doesn't want to. He no longer wants to. He no longer wants to be in part of in the sport of boxing. For me, I think Shakur Stevenson is a one generation talent, and I believe he is extremely talented. And I would not. I would not like to see him end like that, which I believe it's all bullshit. I think it's more of to end his contract with. Top rank. He's with top rank. He's signed with top rank. I just believe it's just to end his contract with top rank. He can either buy out the contract with top rank. I don't know how. I'm not too sure how it works. But I personally believe it's just to end the contract with top rank. But Shakur needs to just basically like, hey, I'm going to. I'm going to I'm gonna have to either sign with a better promoter. As of right now, the better, the better promoter is, I think, number one is Eddie Hearn. And I think Eddie Hearn would be a good promoter for him. Uh, number two is probably um, Frank Warren. You know, those are the two big names in boxing of, um, of of signing with a good promoter. You know, um, when it comes to the other promoter, what's his name? Um, um, I can't remember. Bob Air. I bet him. I don't think he's in. He's he's he does all that promoting. I think his son controls everything behind the scenes. So that's the, that's the, that, that's the issue. But I think right now he needs to sign with an overseas promoter, which is uh, Eddie Hearn. And I do believe Eddie Hearn knows what to do with him. Will know what to do because Eddie Hearn knows how to probably put probably put fighters in the right place to make big fights, just like. I, 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 Barbarum too. Barbarum knows exactly how. To, not Barbarum. Um, Frank Frank Warren knows exactly how to do that. Most like how he did to Dubois multiple times. I don't know how Dubois got into uh, some title positions. But even when he lost to Joe Joyce, he was still able to place himself in a good title position, and that's what we get. So I think he just needs to be top Barum, and he'll be better off for somebody else. Yeah, man, I think he should, bro. I don't really watch a lot of this uh, light, uh, lightweight uh, fighters or something like that, because I don't really have a lot, a lot of time to watch them. But Shaggy Stevenson is one guy that I, I like to watch. Of course, he's a very technical guy. You know, grew under the wings of Floyd Mayweather, right? So, but I think the problem they have is that they want to emulate Floyd Mayweather. Or is the way, like Floyd Mayweather's pattern is just his alone. He did it in his era, and he did it the way that he needed to do it. That might not work this time around, you know. So, I mean, in terms of the fights, you know, select, selecting fights and fighting people at the right time. Um, same thing Floyd Mayweather is trying to do with uh, Javante Davis now, you know. So it's just kind of crazy, bro. Um, but I don't think he's gonna retire though. He's like he's retiring now, but I think he'll come back. It's just one of those things that happens. I think he's frustrated and it just um kind of uh is that is is messing up with um with, with his mental game. But he needs to link up with another promoter. He needs to link up with uh, Eddie Hearn or Mantra Boxing opinion or Frank Warren. Right now the the wind is blowing very hard um at those guys uh compound you know couple with the, the backing of saudi you know already bro so guys give us a little like and subscribe god bless you all for this channel sure